Hello friends, this is Holmes, a first time farmer over 50. Welcome to the homestead. Uh, just doing a quick pan of the uh, southwestern side of the yard. Been clearing out here lately. Um, if you can see right down in there, see if we can get a little bit closer maybe, get nice and grainy. See that uh, tree stump there with the pile of brush behind it? Um, that was a big um, ash tree and uh, neighbors um, come over and cut firewood sometimes so they just took that down this week so that was a pleasant surprise get rid of that so I don't have to mess with that one anymore and then uh, this is how it's looking over here I dropped a tree the other day, a small one right down there. It's, you can see it or not. Yeah, you can probably see that. It's, branches are still sticking up. I haven't cleaned that up yet, but we'll get there. And then uh, right there in the middle of the screen, you see the, um, the post, the tall pole there. And uh, that is the uh, corner of the yard. I marked that just so it would be easier to see. Just for a frame of reference as I'm working, see where I am. Uh, but the thing that I wanted to show you the most today was what's uh, happened over here. All right, so this is the, let me back up a little bit. This is the uh, western pasture, and uh, I've, uh, I've talked about that in a past, recently past video. And I was talking about how this area right through here would make a good uh, gateway entrance from the yard to the pasture. So, we came through here the other day, did some, basically just a chop and drop. And then today I came through and uh, cleaned, up, cleaned up the mess and uh, put it into piles. So this is kind of what we're looking at. The horizon there, that's the road. And then... Uh, this section right here, this is about a about a tenth of an acre that I'm working on clearing initially. And this big oak tree right here, he's my anchor tree for this area. Which means um, pretty much everything else around him will be dropped and cleaned up. As I want uh, him to be uh, casting some shadows. But I also want to make sure there's plenty of sunlight coming through so we can grow some grass in this area. Right up through here, not so much here, but like maybe about 15 feet from me, right about where that pile is from there up to the road, just covered in uh, Vinca Minor, otherwise known as Periwinkle. And apparently the county years and years ago came through and planted it right along the edge of the road and it has just spread and uh, is now encroached down to here. That's probably about, I'd say about 50 feet from the road. So I don't know if sheep will eat vinca or not, but we're gonna give it a try. And then this little patch right up here, I cleared this, started another brush pile and uh, there's some scrubby stuff through there that I still need to get rid of. There's a close-up of the brush pile. I know you're excited about that. Some more scrubby stuff right in there. More stuff we just have to get rid of. And then over here, just beyond the oak tree, through this uh, brush over here, I did some cleaning. And I cut, a, uh, cut out a, a clearing and started another pile. We're going to kind of walk through here. So all of this honeysuckle through here, it is pretty thick. Fortunately, there aren't leaves on them anymore. So that kind of uh, that helps. But it's still pretty messy. And I just found a couple that I cut down and 
hadn't turned in the pile. So we're going to jump over here. And this is the pile that I started. Add to the pile. Boom. But uh, this is the area that I just started clearing. So this is probably about maybe eh, 30 feet across. Back up. It's harder to see from the inside. Makes much more sense to look at it from the outside. There we go. So this is the area here. And the, the distance from here over to that big oak is probably about, maybe about 35, 40 feet. So I'm going to connect these two cleared areas by clearing out all this stuff. And we'll just keep making piles, keep working our way around. Uh, a lot of stuff has got to be cleared out through here. All kinds of honeysuckle. It's really a pretty thick mess, but, you know... I've cleared out lots of areas like this before, so this is nothing new. And eventually we'll get it all down. So thanks for watching. I certainly appreciate you doing that. Uh, please hit like and subscribe. And we look forward to seeing you again in the future. But if not, we're going to see you in the pasture.